cracking with it. I'm Mr. Compton, OG Suicide. You're watching Dub CNN TV. toy drive going on behalf of One West, One World Foundation and Knapsack Apparel. We're trying to come together and give to people in need out here. Well, you know, my bro bro, Epidemic, he's a part of One West, you know, One World Foundation. Big to the boy, um, RBX coming out, Taz from the Licks. Uh, man, we got quite a bit of people stepping out here today. You know, they know about the movement. They see, you know, us promoting and advertising the event. We reach out to them, invite them out, so they come out and support it. Shout out at here at the One West Knapsack Toy and Food Charity slash Benefit for the less fortunate people at this time of the year. Season's greetings. So what we got going on, we got the community, try to get as much as we can out here. A lot of people don't support because Snoop Dogg ain't here. So fuck you. But y'all, check it. One West Magazine, One West One World Foundation, doing some good things for the community. As you can see, it's not about taking money like other magazines, other people like to do, like taking money from people, you know what I'm saying? So, we out here doing good things. We got good food. Right, right. Lundy, represent with the whole Bamit ENT family, he came out, sharing that love. Got my squad, Bassy Entertainment. We out here, the whole faculty is here representing, donating our time and energy like we always do, like we should. Royal Blunts, they came out here last year too. They stay supporting the cause and the whole thing. They give giveaways and all that good stuff. Thumbs up to them. We got the Ghetto Fabulous barbecue going on. Oh, okay. Turkey and the chicken and the beef for everybody. It's going down. Support the new campaign. Missing Real MC. Stop rapping over live on your shows. That's 85% of you motherfuckers doing that shit. For God's sake, and God as in rock him, stop doing that shit. Now one mic, like Nas said. Epidemic, give the program, Bad C. One West, One West, One World Foundation. Get a flame. That is. Shout out to everybody that's fucking with this whole thing. If you ain't here, then you get this and this. That's it. Season's greetings. Happy holidays. And go fuck yourself. You're not doing that for the community. The boy Clint Wayne, KLD. We got the Toy Drive, One West. The homie Big to the Bammy Gang on stage right now, killing it. Shout out to OG Suicide. We out here just getting it in for the kids. You know how we do it, man. Big to the out here, man. Motherfucking uh, just playing my part. You feel me? Shouts out to Knapsack. Shouts out to One West Foundation. We got Royal Blessing Building. We got shit. Everybody here came out to support, man. We got a little food drive, toy drive. Anything that's possible, my boy Big to the Wendy. Straight up though. They got a long story, you feel me? So at the end of the day, I'm here to play for you. Shout out to the world. Yeah. Yeah. We're on the block right now. Some niggas don't understand it. Some of the bougie niggas do not give a fuck about. Uh, Dub CNN, Ghetto Flames, and RBX on the block for real. We up here, you know, the toy drive with the cheering and whatnot. Shout out to Knapsack for putting this function down. Let everybody come out, mingle and whatnot. You dig? Uh, we need that kind of platform. So, it's all mine. Keep it wet. Whether you T, O, T, New Booty, whatever, if you wear something with you, hang out. One West Magazine, you know, that's in stores everywhere. We got the new issue out right now with 
Chris Brown on the cover. We got Compton Menace in the magazine. We got Young Sam. We got Young Barry in the magazine. It's in the 7-Elevens. It's in um, Valero Gas Station, Chevron Gas Station. Next issue, drop in 2015. You'll see One West Magazine and State of Brothers, Food for Less, all your grocery stores, conveniency stores, your hotels. Oh yeah, One West Magazine is going to the next level. It's, it's, it's magazines out there, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of the magazines that's out there is out of reach to artists that don't have a record deal budget. So I wanted to create a platform because I'm an artist too and I know how it is to be an artist and want to have exposure, not just on a flyer or on social networks, but where you can walk in a store and people pick up a magazine and see you in there. Because I've been in many a magazine, so I wanted to create a platform for the up and coming artists so they have that outlet that's in reach, that they can afford and still get the same exposure like they got a record deal right. yeah you know vision you know vision is, is everything and and me I'm, I'm one of those artists that you know come from the walks of life before internet so like I say vision is everything and I'm one of those ones that have a tunnel vision so when I'm moving forward I don't look to the right and I don't look to the left and I don't look back so for sure you know other than just doing music you want to also be able to grow because it's more in life than just being an artist. So even artists out there got to learn, like create a brand, create a foundation, create something other than just doing music. Because you might want to put the ink pen down one day and when you do, have something to fall back on. Yeah, One West came about, it started from an uh, idea that I had, you know what I mean, to pretty much bring everybody together as one, you know, from around the globe. You know, one West, one Coast, one entity, you know, from all walks of life. Unite people as one, you know, because a lot of this stuff is segregated, you know, in the world right now. And even when, you know, years ago, we had a lot of the youth was saying it's the new West and the old West. And no matter how you look at it, you know, it's one West. We all put our pants on one leg at a time. And I created this platform to unite people, to bring people as one. Just like One West, One World Foundation. And you know, this is the logo for it right here. You know, the, the, the hand holding the globe and uniting the globe is one. And, that's, and the foundation, you know, I have the um, suicide prevention program, the bullying prevention program that we bring in, you know, to the table right now to, really help the youth. It, it, we got young people, you know, taking their own lives. I'm a suicide survivor myself, age 22. But you look at the news, you, you got people 11 years old, seven years old that's committing suicide and they never really had a chance to experience life. They being bullied at schools and they feel like if they tell somebody they being bullied, they feeling like they're being a snitch. But really, you're not being a snitch. You know, you, you're keeping a person from picking on you. That's causing you to be scared of this person to where you don't want to live no more. You don't want to be in existence no more. So you would rather take your life. Because even bullies got a problem going on. They're either being bullied at home by their moms, their dads, somebody in their family, or something going on. So the whole thing for this prevention is to find out. I want to start going to these schools. So we're putting together a program to where if you're being bullied, you can come to us and talk to us and let us know. And we're going to personally go to these schools and contact these bullies and, and set up conferences with these bullies, with the parents of the bullies, with somebody in their family and figure out what's going on in their household to where they're coming to school and they're taking their emotions and frustration out on others and causing them to harm themselves. That's right. I mean, for sure, I want to say, you know, to everybody, you know, we have a food and toy drive going today. This is our second year, you know, with One West and Knapsack. Last year was better than this year. You know, um, more support is needed. You know, not just on the West Coast, but on all coasts, all around the world. You know, you gotta look at it like this. It could be your family in need. 
you know, so why not come together? It's not hard. If, if you can go to the club and and blow some money, then you can spend five dollars to put a smile on a kid's face, or or you can spend a couple of dollars to make sure somebody do have food on their table that don't have it. It ain't that they're not trying to get out and get it, but times is hard. And I know times is hard for a lot of people, but I mean, come on now, it, it's not hard to support. It's just not, and, that, and that's just real. That's right. Step your support game up, emoji suicide.